Hello, hello folks. If you don't know, CSGO has a very big variety of weapons. One of these weapons is considered for a long time as one of the worst weapons in the game, and that would be the R8 Revolver. The reason it's considered so low is because that it has to wind up to shoot, and it takes, well, quite a bit to actually be able to, you know, win an actual gunfight with this thing. It does have an alt fire, which fires instantly, but this isn't very useful as it's not very accurate. Now, what if I told you there's a glitch with this weapon that doesn't require the wind-up for your first shot in entering a battle? Well, watch, see for yourself. Watch what happens to the cock of the, of the revolver. See, it stays the same. And watch this. You can instantly shoot. Instead of having to charge up your shot. Now the reason that this is very important is because no other weapon needs to cock up before it can shoot. So, this is very big for the R8 revolver. Now how you do this is you fire every single bullet out of your clip so that you can, you know, obviously empty it out, but besides the point there, you fire every single shot out of your clip on the first part, then you switch to your knife. You can stay however long you want, then you switch back to your revolver, and then press mouse 2, and then mouse 1, and then release mouse 1, and then reload. And then hold, keep holding mouse 2, and then all you have to do is tap M1, and you can, well, you can keep your shot as long as you want. Now, the reason that I really like this is just because it makes it makes the weapon itself have a lot more variety in how you can play it. You can play it normally, or you can play it, you know, with this glitch, which, sadly, the only big downside is that you only have seven bullets to work with for, for this weapon using this glitch. But it almost makes this weapon like a pocket, uh, you know, a pocket SSG. Or at least... I guess a lot more a lot more superior to its old version which you know doesn't have that so let's get into some matchmaking and see how we can um you know do this now i want to know i am not good at this game i am honestly quite bad now our thing for dust 2 here this was a long one that i uh, went through i recorded for you all um but you know <laughs> yeah no i'm going to be using and highlighting uh, the clips of this. And I'm gonna kinda just be making kinda some statements about how it felt to use the R8 revolver. Now, really I think for the R8 revolver, um, I think this glitch is actually very helpful. Now, as you can see, I'm not the greatest aimer in the world, as I've, I'm usually pretty bad at even hitting body shots or headshots. So, it w definitely with better with a better person on hand, it could definitely be a lot more effective, but, yeah. As you can see, I'm not that good. But it did feel very, it did feel much better than using the, you know, the normal R8 revolver. Uh, and the main reason, like I said, is just that you get to initiate battles better. And as you can see there, I actually do hit my headshot, but it was on a bot. But, it's, it's a weird thing with this game. You know, where where it's kind of like this glitch was discovered kind of at the very end of the life cycle of CSGO as CS2 is coming out. So I don't know if they're actually going to make it return or not, sadly. But, you know, if you watch closely and all that stuff, yeah, I'm it's 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 downside is just literally that you can't switch to another weapon or else it breaks the glitch and you only got seven bullets to work with. So, this isn't, like, a glitch that I think saves the R8 revolver from complete obscurity, but I definitely think it's a very nice change of pace for the weapon itself. And I think it's very fun, and I think you should all really do check it out um, sometime, just to, just to have some fun with it before CS2 patches it. But I would be very interested in seeing, you know, CS2 make this into a feature, as I really do think that um, if Valve, like, makes this into like a full-on feature that you can use all your ammo for it wouldn't make the weapon broken in any way it would make it a pretty good alternative to the deagle which is what i kind of want out of this weapon i don't want it to be i i really don't want it to be some overpowered or underpowered weapon i want it to be 
you know, in a sense, I want it. I really do think that this change could, you know, really find the best of both worlds where it's good enough to stand on its own. But, you know, it's not good enough to where, it's not good enough to where it's it's going to like completely break things. And I really think that's where the weapon needs to be because it's really sad that this weapon's been left in a state of disrepair for just so many years, really. It's a very sad sight, and I really do wish, um, and I really do hope that Valve buffs this weapon uh, and makes this whole glitch a feature, because this could really, this could really, um, you know, make this weapon fun again. This this weapon desperately needs changes, as currently in its, you know, for most of its years' life, it's been one of, if not the worst weapon in the game. And it's just, it's just kind of, I'm just kind of glad to see that this glitch kind of shows what it could be, or kind of send out a formula of, you know, everything that Valve could do to make this weapon, you know, not just a meme weapon that's useless. You know, I really do think that this could really just be such an amazing change to CS2, and I think even an open change, honestly. Maybe some people will be mad about it, but I really do think that the revolver um, with the glitch can... You know really really help it so let's hope gaben hears this but yeah have a good day folks i'll see you later